Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Today we are doing Apple's third litter pup reveal. So if we go to her third litter, we had seven pups and I think we had four yearlings. One, two, three. Yeah, we had four yearlings, three dispersals and seven pups. So Banana died to a Oxbow female, um, 1213F, uh, when Lychee, his brother, went after an elk and distracted his mom for like two seconds. Lychee also got beat up by the elk, but he survived, so he's a he can take a hit. Has to be around every side. Pups? Look out. Nichi? Nope. Nope. Right, so our first pup is Passion. Our second pup is Elderberry, she was the runt of the litter. I think her coat changed a bit. Then we have Pear, Melon, who looks like her mom is a pup, Lychee, and that was not Tamarillo's coat, <laughs> so something has changed. Right, I'm gonna grow these pups up and we are going to get started. Right, so this is Passion. She definitely took after with the red tint. She kept that. Um, she has the Life is Rough Pack 2 first coat. Has some orangey, orangey yellow eyes. She has quite the vocal range and nothing wrong with her ears. She is quite a small female. Then we have a minus one inch strength which correlates... correlates? Is that the right word? Might be the wrong word but goes hand in hand with her small size I guess. She's got a plus one in stamina, which could help with taking down mule deer, but then that minus one speed takes away that chance, so we're gonna have to stick to elk with her. Uh, maybe she could take on mule deer if she has a fast mate, um, but that helps will certainly help with elk. And she is offspring of Apple and Dragon. Due to what's happened during the course of this litter, um, because the pups ate beaver meat, I think in the first episode, they, maybe we could do a beaver challenge with any of these pups. Um, I definitely think they all not like skulls and stay away from them after Banana played with skulls quite a lot before he uh, died. So maybe a little bit super, a little bit of a superstitious pack now. So they'll the whole pack now will probably stay away from skulls um, because of all the cougars throughout the litter and stories of Blueberry's death, I think all of these pups will be afraid of cougars.
and then they were all a very loud litter so um that's the main theme that i'm going to keep for this litter loud wolves they just don't know when to shush Um, and then the whole litter looked really really close-knit so I'm gonna say most of the litter of the pups were very are very um, family oriented so for passion specifically she's I see her as a very mature wolf um, adventurous very confident a leader humble, fair, and like all the pups, vocal. Um, possibly a beaver challenge. I do see her possibly leaving the pack. Um, but like I said earlier, she will not pick up any skulls. She'll stay the hell away from them because of what happened ban with Banana. He played a lot with that skull and he was the only pup to die. So I think that will tie into the whole pack not liking skulls. Um, afraid of cougars and family oriented. Here is Elderberry, also a grey coat, um, also a reddy brown tint to her coat. Elderberry is our runt, um, so she'll have some minus points in all of her stats. Um, I like those eyes. I think they're really pretty with her coat. Okay, then I don't think she has anything wrong with her ears either. She's also a really small wolf. I should actually go and have a look at Apple really quickly and see what sized wolf she is because now I'm curious. Apple is a pretty small wolf. I thought she was a bigger wolf. <laughs> uh, so she's a really small wolf, which makes sense with her runtness. <laughs> uh, she does have a neutral stat in strength but she's a minus two in stamina and a minus two in speed ouch <laughs> definitely no mule deer there or pronghorn Pronghorn's, pronghorn is usually out of the picture already with my wolves quite frankly um and health is neutral but remaining points is four because she is in front right so elderberry um, afraid of cougars and although her whole um, litter was quite vocal I see her as still being vocal but quieter than her siblings um, thoughtful uh, can definitely hold her own so is no pushover why is discord going mad um, and beaver challenge, possibly. Yeah, that's all I really had for her. Uh, but if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Ooh, Pear, taking after your great-grandmother, Pearl, with the husky look 
Well, German Shepherd book, not Husky. Um, also a grey coat. I'm kind of expecting that from the whole litter because both the parents are grey. So Pear has some pretty yellow eyes. And here's her house. Was that a secondary or a primary? I can't even remember. <coughs> then nothing to her ears. I do like both those howls. Um, she's slightly bigger than her sisters, Passion and Elderberry. And she is not fast, but she has the health to take a hit. So she might concentrate on elk because she can take a hit and she can't chase very fast, at least. Right, so Pear. I think she uh, will be afraid of other wolves because of this clip. And because of it, maybe she stays with her birth pack, or if she leaves her birth pack, she has like a terrible experience with other wolves, or she gets freaked out realizing that there's so many other wolves in the world and just comes back to her birth pack. I see her doing that. Um, she's also afraid of cougars like the rest of her family. Well, not her mom and her dad, but the rest of her siblings. Uh, also very vocal and family oriented so that could be another thing is she is so she might be so family oriented she stays with her birth pack from the beginning so I don't know <laughs> if she'll stay or leave um, but let me know in the comments down below and here is Melon she looks like she's been through some stuff she's got a notched ear notched I think it's notched and she's got a radio collar so I wonder if she went through something where the scientists were like, ooh, this is a really interesting wolf. Let's put a collar on her and see what she does. <laughs> and... Um, yeah. She looks like Turn. <laughs> Except Turn doesn't have the brown. Her eyes... There's a lot of yellow eyes now in this pack. She takes after her mom with the deep house though. Yeah, it's a notched left ear. Um, so she went through something. In episode 3, I think it was, she was nearly grabbed by a cougar. Maybe that's what happened with her ear. Maybe, maybe. She's a little smaller than Melon, I think. Um, but bigger than her other sisters still. She has a minus 1 in strength, a plus 1 in stamina, and a minus 1 in speed and a plus 1 in health. She might be able to take on some mule deer if she has a fast mate, but otherwise I see her taking on elk only. Sorry, pear, not melon. I just realized I'm reading off the wrong wolf. Um, she's bigger than... She's smaller than pear, but bigger than elderberry and passion. There we go. Got it eventually. Um, but she was nearly grabbed in episode 3 by a cougar. 
Um, so that's where the notched ear could come from. And maybe because of that, she is the most afraid of cougars compared to her siblings. Um, but as an adult, I see her being intuitive because, or a psychic, I'm not quite sure. I'll Google the word and get it proper, the right word down. But uh, if you guys can think of the right word, let me know if you understand what I'm trying to say. But she picked up that wolf skull in episode... I don't know what episode it was, but she picked up an el the wolf skull that was at the den and never touched it ever again. <laughs> I was watching in every episode that she wouldn't pick it up ever again. It was only Banana. And Banana's the one who died. She is also a very vocal wolf. And I see her being the wolf that thinks she can get away with everything. Because she got away from the cougar. She got away from humans. Um, yeah, I, I see her being as a wolf being a wolf that thinks she can get away with everything. She's definitely food motivated. I see her being very food focused. So she'll do like anything for food. Which may be interesting because I just got Lost River. So cattle? Question mark? Um, does that come back to bite her in the butt? Um, could do a cattle challenge, although so far I have tried with another wolf and um, that didn't turn out too well. Um, I don't see her being as family oriented as the rest of her pack, so maybe she doesn't go um, off on her own to have her own pack. So maybe we just play her in Lost River as an exploring wolf um, that only feeds off cattle while we explore Lost River. It's it's a it's a decision to make there. Decision choice choice. That's the word I'm looking for. And also be the challenge possibly with all of these pups. There's the be the challenge that we could take into account. Ooh, Lychee does look like Turn. He looks like Melon as well, <laughs> just with less um, accessories. He's got the 925M coat. A greeny yellow eyes I see a bit of green beautiful nothing wrong with his ears I do believe and he is slightly bigger than his sisters when it comes to his gender group. He is slightly above average when it comes to size. Um, he is a minus one in strength, a plus one in stamina, and a plus one in speed. So mule deer challenge for him, maybe, maybe, keyword, maybe. Um, but he has a minus one in health, so maybe he does take on mule deer as a challenge only. Right, so Lychee is a confident little wolf. Well, he's not little. A confident wolf. I see him taking after his dad quite a bit. Um, pulling through when things get rough. Um, uh, but being that calm, relaxed and laid back wolf and a bit of a loner um, and because of that slight lonerness um, I definitely see him in the, being independent um, also afraid of cougars and maybe he doesn't leave his birth pack um, because he's so chill and laid back um, Maybe he just wants to freeload off of his parents' territory and like help out where he can, but otherwise just wants to live his life. <laughs> um, if you get what I mean. So just wandering around his parents' territory, helping out where need be, but otherwise nothing much else. Um, yeah, that's all I have for Lychee. 
Tamarello, look at you, boy. Very red tint. Not as dark as his sister Passion, though. Um, Life is Rough Pack 1, fourth coat with a red tint. And he's got light yellow, nearly white eyes. And he's a slightly smaller wolf than his brother Lichi. Not slightly. He's actually quite a bit small. I think Lichi is over here, so yeah, I mean, maybe it could be slight. Right, he has a plus one in strength, unlike Lichi. <laughs> um, they certainly swapped sizes and attributes. He has a minus one in stamina, a minus one in speed, so he is definitely not going off to meal deer. But elk seems to be his diet with that plus one strength and plus one health. Right, Tamarillo. Uh, very confident wolf. Not food mo motivated at all. If any pup was going to refuse to eat, it would have been him in the litter like he didn't refuse to eat but he was always like hmm, i don't know during the first couple episodes he he was at like half food and all his siblings were like full-on food and there was a pile of food on the ground and he didn't it took him a while to actually go over and eat it um so that's why i'm saying he's not motiv food motivated at all um, I see him being a patient wolf. Um, maybe not at the at uh, the top of the hierarchy, probably lower down. Um, and being a playful, sweet, and gentleman type wolf, vocal and afraid of cougars. Right, so that is this litter all done. That's all I have for this litter. Um, if you have any ideas for any of these wolves, even if you like are disagreeing with what I've said about these wolves, go ahead and comment them. I'm open to ideas and suggestions. Um, I've got a new voting system for our heirs. Now, instead of voting at the very end of the wolf's life, we're going to vote at the end of each litter um, for an heir for that litter. And then... Out of all those litters, heirs that have been picked at the very end of the wolf's life will pick out of all of those. If you're unsure, you can go to the community tab. Um, I posted it on the 1st of August. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this litter. And I will see you in the next pup reveal, which should be Rika or Helene. I might leave Rika's for last. We'll see. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.